So this project uh, began for us in 2019. Uh, we were invited to tender on it by Texture Architects, who we'd worked with previously on a number of other projects. Um, and at the beginning, it was just another tender that came across our, our desk. Um, we priced it as we would any other project um, and hoped that we were given the, the chance to build it. Um, at the time, we thought, unfortunately, it was postponed for 12 months, but in hindsight, it was probably fortunate that we were given the opportunity to meet with the Anamkara board through that postponement and get a really clear understanding about just what this project meant, not only for the Anamkara board, but for the team of volunteers that work for Anamkara and indeed the broader Geelong community. And the reason why it forms such an emotional connection for me and for our business is because it's something that will inevitably affect all of us. And when it's something that will affect or has the potential to affect all of us, it's very easy to relate to that personally and therefore make that strong emotional connection. That coupled with the fact that we sat across the board table from these incredibly humble and devoted people, we very quickly gained an understanding of just how much work they'd put in to get the project to the point at which they had it out to be tendered not less the fact that it was now about to be constructed and we've seen the fact that we've now turned the sod on the on the site um, and we saw such an incredible turnout from uh, volunteers board members politicians um, there was some 60 people at the sod turning event and i think that connection that emotion is driven by all of the work that's gone up to the point at which now we are, as the head contractor, afforded the privilege of being able to construct this building. We really uh, needed a partner, um, a building partner on this project that was going to understand who we are, the type of service that we provide. We don't have patients in our facility, we have guests. Um, so we were absolutely delighted um, to have engaged um, early in the process with Nicholson. Um, they are a regional um, builder, a regional company, um, they're people from the region and Nicholson really got us. They got um, intrinsically what we we're about, our service to community, um, the quality and the care that needed to be wrapped around this particular project. So in the original building, we had four beds there where we could offer respite or end of life care. But I think we've outgrown that beautiful building now and we, we are planning to, to move into this amazing 20 bed um, hospice in the future. Another service that we offer, as well as the respite care and end of life care, is a, is, is a day program. And that program enables people to come from home that are either isolated and don't have people caring for them, or they've got a carer and the carer needs a day off. So it's important that we get to know our guests and they feel really comfortable and trust us and they share lots of beautiful things. And then we can recommend to refer them to other services to help them with that journey. The difference we make is we care, we've got that homely atmosphere. Um, to go into the room where they're having a day hospice and just hear the laughter and hear the chatter and um, it's a lovely feeling. It was five years ago that we determined that we needed a fit for purpose space, um, we needed more space, there was more demand being made on our services and we could see where the community was also going to take itself to. The greatest gift that I believe you can give someone is your time. And the Anamkara board have given so much of their time to ensure that the time that the guests and their family have left is as comfortable as it possibly can be. And it's for that reason that this end of life facility will be the example of what end of life care should be. The Anamkara board members um, came uh, to our office. They found out about us because we do uh, work in the health area and they wanted assistance and had the vision for the new Anamkara. And so we uh, volunteered our services initially and so for uh, some time. And so that was a great joy to us because uh, we do um, work for our community in that way. 
Up until you know a few years ago, we we're a very small not-for-profit service, um, running primarily with the support of um, volunteers. Um, we received a, a fantastic uh, grant from the state government a couple of years ago to expand our service into community outreach, nursing, our equipment library, and our um, support and service was able to expand. But of course that then meant that our um, where we were, where we were placed also needed to expand as well. So it was through the wonderful support in our relationship with Deakin University um, that it became possible that we may be able to be based out at Warm Ponds. The beautiful fall of that land, the quietness, and that is the most superb, appropriate place where we could possibly be caring for our community members. The site has a most majestic view. It's a glorious view. So the design all revolved around the care needs of the guests and Adam Cara, um, together with the connection to the land um, and, and, and the majestic views where the building being stretched out, all of the, um, the, uh, the, be the bedrooms, all have beautiful views of the valley uh, below and the hills beyond. The building, however, is designed as a very heavy-duty Class 9A hospital building. So it's exactly a hospital building, and but uh, the design difficulties have been, in terms of a technical, is to convert that into what looks like a beautiful, warm, timber house, um, um, and that you don't feel like you are in a hospital at all, but you've got all of the modern uh, systems in place of a hospital on infection control processes, air conditioning, etc. My role in conjunction with all the project team at Tektura was um, really looking at the internal spaces. So there's a lot of timber, um, a lot of kind of soft lighting, um, low level lighting to really kind of replicate that feeling of being at home. And I think that's really important um, in terms of this facility specifically um, because there's not many hospitals that feel like home. The internal courtyards are really intrinsic to the project because they give um, a lot of light into all the spaces but also having this sense of connection um, while you're moving between the areas so you're having this constant sort of connection and sort of grounding um, with the outside with um, nature with trees and also the really special Wathorong garden as well so that was a really important point to um, be able to have and maintain that connection throughout all the spaces. We are very, very uh, excited that Nicholson are uh, the contractor. We have a great partnership with Nicholson in the past and we're currently working on projects together. We actually know about the culture at Nicholson's and that how you care for how you actually build buildings. And Nicholson, as the contractor, is actually building a whole new type of facility in the health sector, which is quite unique. So we're very, very pleased that Nicholson are partnering with us on this project. Part of our partnership and part of our responsibility is as the Adam Carr and Tektura's construction partner, and we are their partner throughout this build, is to make sure that we deliver on Tektura's design. And part of that is to ensure that we deliver a building that when the guests walk into the building, that they feel at home, that they feel comfortable. We have entered into a teaching and research agreement with Deakin and we think that this is very, very unique as far as the partnership between not-for-profit community hospice, um, the bedside learning, the teaching, the education that is going to come from within our home, supported by Deakin University's um, staff and academics and also students as well. Our partnership with Deakin University will be world leading and there'll be some amazing research, learning, education for our entire community and potentially our country which is going to come out of um, what we have placed at, um, at Warm Ponds. One of the things we're really proud of and delighted with is that um, there will be 90% um, local component to what we are doing and local procurement to what we are doing and we've been able to achieve that through our partnership with Nicholson and uh, we can't wait to complete the journey with them. That emotional connection that we've been able to develop uh, through meeting the Adam Carr board and listening to them talk has been so easily conveyed to our subcontractors because they're also Geelong community members. So effectively this uh, project is being funded by the Geelong community, will be built by the Geelong community and will be for the Geelong community. <laughs>